Well, it's been very stressful on a personal level because of the fact that it affects every aspect of our life. So our work conditions have changed, um, our family conditions have changed, but also our whole environment has changed. This, the distancing, the not even being able to go to a store, every aspect of your life has been affected in this. But because of the fact that we are needed to be at work, we don't have the option of staying home to avoid what the rest of the public does. I have the fear of, I have the fear and uncertainty of heightened um, um, virus infections. And then I'm worried all the time that I may carry the COVID-19 coronavirus home and infecting my loved ones. And then every day I had to balance my commitment to help others. And with the understanding commitment as well to protect myself and others. Yes, I got a call at 10 o'clock at night and I was told that I had worked beside a girl who had tested positive for COVID. I can tell you that I didn't sleep that night and uh, I felt sick. I really did feel sick. I think it was at the beginning when things were so unknown about it, but then people were dying everywhere. Um, I think it's affected everybody. Uh, kids mostly like in home, doing kids work and keeping balance. Like it's hard to do things like I used to do with kids and work. Right now, it's just trying to find balance. Personally, um, it's made me, you know, it's been a mental roller coaster emotionally, physically, um, but it's also made me grow stronger and, you know, I'm, I'm ready for the fight, I guess. Uh, being a personal support worker really. Um, uh, jeopardize my, my health as well as uh, my the environment. Uh. Personally, I don't think so. I've kissed my daughter for almost for more than almost a month now. Uh, one daughter is um, loving, educating herself at home, and the other one is loving the Fortnite Xbox. So it's challenging to come home and not have a routine.